here because I think we found a little bit of a workaround for some of the challenges that people have faced uh, with SnapMaker and using CNC. So the way that we're going to do it today is we're going to uh, edit a file in Easel, which is run by Inventables. Uh, so if you have the Xcarve or the Carvey, um, that is the software that they use for their devices. Uh, it allows basic editing uh, and then it allows connection to the machine and output of a G-code file or direct connection to the machine. What we're going to do today is just use that to connect uh, to create a file for uh, use in the SnapMaker JS software and we'll run that file and show you uh, show you how it works. So we're going to go over here. Um, this is the easel interface. Um, usually you've got sort of what you can work on or what you're working on over here on the left and then um, an, an image or a preview over here on the right. So I've already set up a couple circles here at different depths. Um, you can change the depth here. I also switched over from uh, toggled from inches to millimeters just to make it a little bit easier to, to port this into the SnapMaker interface. So let me add couple other shapes just to give us some variety here. So I'm going to add a triangle and shrink that down. And this is where I was saying you can do a little bit of editing in the software. I'm going to change that to cut on the path. And let's do, yeah, we'll do the one at depth of two and a half millimeters. And we'll copy and paste that. And let's change this other one to one millimeter in depth and we're, we're still cutting it on the path just so that we can see how it produces some different shapes. So um, you can export this as a SVG file and bring it in to SnapMaker. I think what would happen though is it will take these designs but it would cut them all at the same depth uh, and so that's not what we want. We want a couple of these to be cut at different depths here and so if you look over to the right over here, we've got uh, information on what the material is and the typical dimensions. I'm not going to worry about too much of this today. Uh, we do have a 1 8 inch bit in there, and so you want to make sure that that is set and ready to go. And then the cut settings I've generally left um, alone, I believe. I believe these were the standards, but I... Uh, switched over to custom just you can change these if you would like um, so we'll leave those alone for now the key here is if you go into machine so under file there's no way to uh, export the G code from here and so if you download the zip file it'll just be an SVG file so if you go under machine and typically it gives you it would come in and pick the xcarve uh, as the default, but if you go to the other option here, and then you've got a bunch of these other options you can pick, so those might work if you have something other than a SnapMaker. I'm not sure if one of these would be a good mimic of a SnapMaker, but for right now we're just going to pick other. We can set our work area. I believe for the SnapMaker it's a 3.5 inch by 3.5 inch square, um, and then most of this you can leave alone. Uh, don't hit setup machine. That will take you through Easel wanting you to install, uh, you know, uh, software to connect to their machines. But if you click on advanced, and then over here you see generate G code. So I think what we have looks okay. I'm going to generate the G code here, and then I'm going to export the G code. So I can see that it's saved a file. I'm going to go into text edit, and I've got a file open here. Let me close that one down. I'm going to open the file we just downloaded. And this is what we were able to figure out. And I'm not sure this is totally accurate, but we will check on this. So you can see this file on the left here worked. So G21. That is changing the coordinates from uh, inches to millimeters. 
and then M3 turns on the spindle, and then the rest of this is telling it where to go in the X, Y, and Z, and then um, the F is, I believe, the spindle rate. And so what we need to do on this one is if we get rid of this S5000, that's not necessary. And then if we get rid of this G90, we've got the rest of the code there. And I think that that looks good. So we can highlight all of that and copy all of that. And then when we go into SnapMaker, I've already got the wood set up on the device. And I've already set an origin on the device. Um, and so you might need to look elsewhere if you don't know how to do that yet. But um, in the SnapMaker software, if I click on the workspace in the upper left corner, and rather than uploading G code, if I refresh my serial ports and find the USB, I've got a USB connection going on right now. If I find that and hit open, it will open the console window. And just for this version, we're going to paste that code into the console window. And then it should run the code from there. And we'll check over on the device and see where it goes. So I'm going to select all in the G code file that I have. And once I paste it in this console box, the, the router will start going right away. So you want to make sure that that is set up appropriately. And it is. And so here we go. We also determined that if you take the edited file that is exported from Easel, and after you make the changes, if you save those changes, and then close the file, and there's likely many ways you could do this, but this is maybe one of the easier ones. If you change the name of the file, and actually you can leave the name the same, but you're just changing the suffix to be dot cnc that if you then go to snapmaker this gives you a little bit greater control of the process and you go to upload g-code that cnc file will be interpreted as a, a set of commands for the cnc router so then if you open that your file is there and ready to go and now you can use the operations in here to start and stop the machine when you want to and when it's set rather than just pasting the code and it running immediately. So that's another option. We determined that that's probably the easiest option to work with and so hopefully that will help you.